One of my favorite pictures of the Mont Blanc story uh, was, is, a, is this one, like uh, it's a mountain guide. For me, like his face and the mark of, the, of his face uh, looks a bit like a landscape. In 2019, uh, Monocle asked me to go and, and to shoot uh, the village of uh, Chamonix, and, uh, which is uh, right next to the Mont Blanc, and to do like a story, a general story around the Mont Blanc uh, mountain. One of the most interesting things was to spend the time with the mountain guides. There are people who are living with the mountain all the time, and so they generally have like a very special relation to the surrounding to the elements and yeah, to the geography of the place. One of the challenges was to, uh, uh, I wanted to really to, to get as close as possible from, uh, from the Mont Blanc, but it was in winter, so climbing the Mont Blanc in winter is like, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, it's far from my uh, abilities. Or I decided to, uh, to go and ski what we call the Vallée Blanche, which is like a very, very fa famous free ride uh, uh, ski. I decided to go there with a large format camera. So it was quite a challenge to, uh, to, uh, to do all that with, uh, with a lot of gears and, uh, and, uh, and ski, skiing with that and, uh, and doing the pictures and stuff. My favorite camera is uh, it's, it's, uh, what we call the 8x10 format, uh, which is a quite, quite big camera, uh, quite heavy, but uh, which gives a sense of um, of uh, details and uh, space that is quite amazing. For this assignment, I used different type of camera, uh, going from the big one, the 8x10, uh, till the middle format. But to, uh, to do the part in the mountain, I really wanted to use quite a big format in order to have like a special picture, that picture that generally uh, people won't get with, a, with like a digital camera or a small camera. So I went and I, I did the Valley Blanche uh, uh, at ski with a 4x5 camera. With film there is a, a question of uh, rarity. You have a, a physical limitation with the number of films that you, uh, that you can use. You have to concentrate quite a lot uh, during the process of taking the picture. With a digital camera, you're gonna shoot and look, shoot and look. And uh, with a film camera, you can, you need to imagine what you uh, you need to uh, project yourself more into uh, into the possibility of uh, of a scene and uh, of what you can get on the film. <laughs>